Hello everyone and welcome back to Forward Aviation. In today's video, we bring you another episode of our Aviation Foundation series on takeoff speeds and callouts. We will explain the difference in callouts between general aviation aircraft and commercial airliners, as well as thoroughly describing the terms themselves. Without any more delay, let's get into the video. Have you ever been listening to an audio recording or a video of an aircraft takeoff and heard the terms V1, rotate, and V2 or positive rate used and wondered what they meant? Well, these references are known as takeoff callouts or speed thresholds spoken as a takeoff procedure. These thresholds are different for every aircraft based on its size, horsepower, drag, payload, and many other variables. The exact definition of velocity 1 or V1 is defined as a speed beyond which the takeoff should no longer be aborted. This is the lowest speed at which the aircraft complies with the handling criteria associated with a climb after a takeoff, followed by the failure of an engine. This just relatively means the speed of the aircraft in relation to the length of the runway would not be safe enough to stop the aircraft. V1 of a Cessna 172 would be much different to an Airbus A380, as the Cessna is not only much lighter, but requires much less runway for takeoff. The speed of V1 for an Airbus A380 is about 145 to 150 knots. In the case of the Cessna 172, there is no specified speed for V1 as there is not a certification issue for single-engine aircraft. However, from flying a Cessna myself, I can say that the mighty Skyhawk has a short takeoff roll. The next term is either VR or rotate depending on the pilot. This is the point in which the aircraft has enough airspeed and lift to rotate into a climb. A pilot will call rotate and then gently pull back on the yoke or side stick. VR or rotate on the A380 would be around 155 to 160 knots. The final call that you would hear would either be V2 or positive rate. V2 or positive rate is defined as the speed at which the aircraft may safely be climbed with one engine inoperative. This just means that this is the lowest speed that the aircraft would still be handled in a safe climb. We hope you enjoy today's explanation of takeoff callouts and can now apply this to your own uses, whether it be for simulator flying or taking to the skies in the real world. We would like to thank Ixon for providing us with today's audio and allowing us to tell our story. Go check them out using the link in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay updated with all the aviation related content Forward Aviation has to offer. Tune in later this week on Thursday for the COVID-19 aviation briefing and on Friday to watch the premiere of a special video at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Before we end today's video, we would like to invite you to join our community where you can post new ideas as well as discuss our videos on the Forward Aviation Discord, created and moderated by C46, one of the editors on our channel, who just happens to have edited today's video. Next week, we will also welcome a new narrator to our channel on Tuesday, with a special video getting posted on a renowned military jet. We thank you so much for flying with us today and we hope you can join us again soon on Forward Aviation.